See if anyone noticed that. Alrighty. <laughs> Hello there. It's Super Pack. On a Friday evening, how are you all today? Tonight, wherever you are. Uh, we're going to do the Donkey Kong today. The Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong franchise of arcade games. Uh, there were three of them. Uh, there was Donkey Kong, its sequel, Donkey Kong Jr., and Donkey Kong 3. And we're going to get through those three today. There was actually even a song called Do the Donkey Kong. It was done by Buckner and Garcia uh, back in 1982 under CBS Records. Uh, it was a very interesting song. Good on lyrics. Uh, uh, of course, the um, there was a follow-up to uh, Pac-Man Fever, which they uh, gained quite a bit of fame for that. In fact, you can probably still hear today on on an oldie station. Imagine an oldie station that plays 80s music. For me, that's, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Donkey Kong was created by Nintendo Entertainment, of course. Um, it's famous programmer, uh, Sugiyu Miyamoto, he's for me to say. Uh, he would be the man who would be uh, responsible for its development and its creation, and just about everything you saw about the game. Um, remarkable game, and like other popular games of his time, it even had a cartoon, it had a serial, it had a board game, it had countless home versions of it for various consoles, they even had a Nintendo Game & Watch, had a sort of version of that, even Coleco made tabletop arcade games for that. And of course they uh, practically sold their Coleco Vision off of a version that they themselves put together. They tried to make it as perfect as possible, pixel per pixel. In other words, Mario was the same Mario size that you saw on an arcade screen versus your television. Uh, it was pretty close. Kind of missed a couple things there, but it was an outstanding version. So let's take a look at Donkey Kong right now as we look at the gameplay. And there it is right there. Wrong bezel, but that's uh, well, that's my Pac-Man machine, actually. Uh, there it is, Donkey Kong, Nintendo 1981. That's when that game came out. It's over 40 years old. And originally... He was Jumpman. And there's a couple stories of how he became Mario. Uh, he became Mario largely um, from um, from Nintendo's building. Uh, apparently they had a landlord named Mario. And uh, they ran out of the, building, the office building f uh, from him. So there's that. Uh, up there on the top of the board, there is Pauline. And what she does, she goes up there and well, is kidnapped by Donkey Kong, screams for help. And he's going to roll down some barrels there. The blue barrels are the ones that will turn into fireballs because those are possessed when they hit the oil drum down there at the bottom. Or I can grab hammers to knock over the barrels and the fireballs. Uh, every time you use the hammer, it is worth varying amounts of points. If it's a barrel, 300 points. If it's anything else, it's three to, five, three to 800 points. And you're going to see uh, four different boards here because I'm going to play the Japanese version. Uh, as opposed to playing uh, the American version. What's the difference? Japanese version actually took you through all four stages of the building. In other words, the meters, 25, 50, 75, and 100 for each wave versus the American one started with two boards, then started with another three boards, and then finally with all four boards. And it got increasingly more difficult as the gameplay went on. So let's go ahead and turn off the music here. And we're going to go and play Donkey Kong right now. Ah, yes. Something the home versions didn't usually include. There's a couple of tricks that you can do. You, uh, your movements help kind of steer where the barrel's gonna go. Also, how high do you, how far you, oh, oh, you jump. That was close. There we go, for 500 points. That was three. Jumping over a barrel will get you 100 points. Jumping over two will get you 300 points. Three will get you 800 points. And the hammer's turning yellow, so it's about to run out. I have a friend of mine who I worked with for a number of years who could not even get to this point in the game. We'll lose all three of his lives. 
This is the conveyor belt board. One that's missing from most home versions. Those are cement pies. Hit those, you're gonna wish you hadn't. And you miss gaps. If you fall down them, you're gonna wish you hadn't as well. See the ladders go up and down. All you have to do is hit that part. They'll give it to you. 7,000 points will give you an extra life. 75 meters, here we go. The elevator board. There's that big old spring. Always fun to avoid. 300 points for the umbrella. There's a hat and purse also on the board. I usually ignore the purse, but it's just a pain in the ass to get to. Finally, the ribbit board. Yeah, I probably should have grabbed the purse. But I didn't. So there. It'll show me. Jump. Good stuff. Oh, Lord. I'm so surprised. Ah. Nice try. There you go. Of course, you also get a bonus score at the end of each round. Don't want that going to zero, otherwise, you will lose your life. And it plays rather rapid music once it gets down to less than 1,000. Second level, here we go. Barrel comes down slightly angular. Angular, excuse me. And... As soon as I realized what I was doing. Good job. There we go. playing 
chicken. Stay up there. Just stay up there. Of course. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, that was fun. 75 meters. Elevator boards. A little faster this time. A lot faster this time. The trick is to get that fireball to go down that ladder. There you go. Now that spring comes down four different ways. You can see it's not always coming down the same platform. Sometimes a little to the left, sometimes a little to the right. Dead center. You do get 100 points for uh, evading it properly, too. Just like anything else in this game. Hard to do, but I've done it. I'm not going to do it here. that last time around turn around. Let's go for the first this time. Here comes the fireballs. side of the building. Only that one. You see, it's, they're getting smart too. Life. Here we go. I can do it. That's how you start charging awful fast over there. The third one, the fourth one will be coming up, and soon a fifth one. And yes, you still can die with the hammer comes from behind, or it just happens to hit when, uh, it didn't, the hammer wasn't there, it was in the down position, which is up or whatever. Come on. Okay, back to where I was before. Ah. Not too bad, not too great, not too bad. 44,100 points. Uh, oh yeah, vanity table, well, of course. This is the Japanese version, so you get to put more than just three letters. But why change things like that? I'll reset when I turn that off anyway. That is Donkey Kong, the original, the great, the classic, the one that started Mario. And then you're going to find out that Mario will be the bad guy in the next game in its sequel, Donkey Kong Jr., and uh, I have to say, Donkey Kong Jr. is a bit harder than Donkey Kong. Much like Ms. Pac-Man is a harder game to play than Pac-Man, because unlike Pac-Man, there are no patterns. See, there you go. They're in the track mode where he dies from, even with the hammer, excuse me, hammer, he can still die by the barrel. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr., I think, was a harder game. Uh, it was a good game. And uh, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, there used to be a little arcade uh, down the street from me that uh, had this. I used to play that one a lot. I used to play this a lot here too, up at, uh, at a Zare, about a mile from me. But, um, oh yeah. Good stuff. We're going to take a break for just a moment, and uh, we're going to switch games as soon as I hit pause.
All right, I think we're ready. We are ready! I still have a 63 second countdown, and I think we're just going to go ahead and switch up to the game. Alrighty, so this next game is the sequel to Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Mario is the bad guy this time around. Oh no, in fact, you see two Marios at the top of the screen. Uh, they captured Donkey Kong. They succeeded. What happened to the girlfriend? Who knows? Who cares? But, it is uh, interesting as uh, you are now Donkey Kong Jr. Let's take a look at it. Donkey Kong Jr. is climbing up vines, jumping over platforms, avoiding snap jaws, avoiding buzzards, and other traps. He just got hit with that one. The red ones stay on the board unless you drop them with a the fruit, which will give you extra points. The blue ones, well, they don't, uh, they don't hang around for too long. They will actually drop into the ocean. Uh, similar to that on all the boards as well. Uh, you will avoid things like little sparks that bounce around uh, in one of the uh, platforms here. Uh, you will avoid birds flying. You may have seen the game. Now, again, various versions of this appeared uh, for the ColecoVision, which was pretty good. Uh, the Atari 2600 had a lousy version, and uh, you see he fell to his death there in the attract mode. If he falls more than his own height, he will die. So, uh, the uh, Coleco version actually, like I said, had a pretty good one. Atari, Atari 2600 version sucked. I'll just flat out say it. It royally, the sound, the graphics, the everything. Bad. A lot of people were ac accusing Coleco of making subpar versions for the other consoles versus their own console. As if there's anything wrong with it. Of course, they want to sell their own console. But, like I said, they did make it for other consoles as well. So, eh. It was okay. Of course, the Nintendo Entertainment System had very good versions of this. Why not? It's Nintendo. Um, but, again, doesn't have everything. Missing a couple of things here and there. So, nevertheless, it's a good game. Hard game. Uh, poor Junior is going to try to rescue his father by trying to grab the key at the top of the board. Once again, there are bonus points up there, just like before. If it hits zero, you will, you will lose your life. Grab bonus points for just merely getting the fruit, and of course, if they happen to hit anything, you'll get bonus points for that as well. So get, let's go ahead and get started. We'll kill the music here for a second. Turn off the big deal. Yes. And let's play us some Donkey Kong Jr. Credit. Begin. Here's the Para Mario Brothers up there. My god, that could be a game! Save your papa! Ah. <laughs> for whatever reason, those blue ones just have a thing for going to the left side of the screen. Again, the Japanese version. Ah, ah. If you climb, climb up a solo vine, you're going to take your time doing so. Yes, rub it in. Yeah, however, if you hit two vines, you will go much faster going up. One vine going down is a lot faster than two vines going down. So, it's kind of a catch-22 in a lot of ways. That's why I wanted to be in the first place. Ah, I missed him. straight for the key. Frustrating. I have to admit. I have to admit, I don't talk too often playing these games. Uh, there's a bit more concentration going on here. Oh, I hate this board. The color is off on that one. Interesting. I meant to do that. I haven't even got an extra life yet. Oh my goodness. Ah. 
Now, those vultures will drop an egg, like that. And that will happen every so often. Every fourth one, I think. Let's just wait to grab, and like that. System version, you don't get any points for jumping over those. Okay, it looks like he's doing a shuffle back there. It's interesting. Intermission! You get this one in the later stages in the American version. North American version, I should say. Okay, so now we're on the Sparky Spark board. Let's see what we got here. We got reds and we got blues. Blues don't hang around, reds do, just like before. That was close. Sound effects are already gone. That's fine. Still a pain in the ass game. Missed every single one of them. Good job. That's quite a skill. <laughs> I jumped. I jumped. Bollocks. We'll try again. Oh, I got an extra life. That's right. I got over 10,000 points. Woohoo! They've gone silent. Okay, let's see what we got here. I've gotten rusty. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Oh, points, 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 points. Yes, the blue ones can multiply, too, when they're on those uh, little things there. Let's try one more time. I'm at that fast one. There we go. And finally, we're going to go up to the big chains where you have a bunch of keys, six and all, as a matter of fact. You got to put them all to the cage. Watch out for the snap jaws, and of course, those birds. Pan in the ass. Alright. See if I can grab them. Yeah, nope, snap jaws down there. I'll come back down for that one. Now, on this platform, you're safe. Of course, your only enemy at this point is literally the timer. That was dumb. That was I. You know, I deserve that one. Yeah, I deserve that. I'll learn. I will learn. Yeah. Try one more time. Make it 
fast. Seems a graphic glitch hits again. Okay, interesting. Didn't see that coming. Nope. It's funny, you can land on that pretty easily, but for whatever reason you can't do that here. Interesting. I gotta play the 2600 version again. I fare a little bit better. Just fine. Yeah, what the hell? I made the mistake of getting the fruit there and then just literally falling off the thing. I scratched my head in the ass. What the heck did I just do? Yeah, that looks uncomfortable, Mario. Oh, sure. Something about the sounds of Nintendo games. Their uniqueness. That's what makes Nintendo Nintendo. Good job. Clean mess. Yes. Let's see, as soon as I as soon as I get a, a point score. Interesting. Another... Ah! Bollocks. Okay. Well, let's see, I probably got another score from there. Yes, I did. Let's see what I got here. Or should I name myself here? I got a whole minute to do this. Let's see. Dom... Eh. Yeah, sure. Give me plenty of time. Too bad you can't go up and down. Yeah, we got it. We got it now. We got it now. And sure. Absolutely. Sounds good. Dum dum. I got idiot and dum dum scores. Good job. That is Donkey Kong Jr. That was quite the uh, was quite a good game there. Now the third Mario game. There was a rather third Donkey Kong game. Excuse me. There is a third one. And this one, not too many people are familiar with. They did make it for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't know what else they made it for, believe it or not. I, uh, other than being in a Donkey Kong Classics, you know, the compilations, which usually feature only the first two, they did release one with all three. Uh, but, um, if you have it, hey, it's a pretty good game, but it's Stanley Mario this time around. Stanley the Exterminator. The third brother that uh, you don't really see a whole heck of a lot. And that's going to be coming up in just a moment. But first, but first, we're going to hit pause. We'll be right back.
And three, two, one, we're back to Donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong trilogy of games from Nintendo Entertainment. Uh, Nintendo, they made a lot of good games back in the 80s. Uh, not really much in the presence, uh, as far as arcade terms are concerned. Uh, they kind of stopped at the last, I, I may be wrong on this, the last game I remember seeing them from the arcade standpoint was actually versus Super Mario Brothers. Uh, the same, almost the same uh, Super, Super Mario Brothers, bleh, Super Mario Brothers game you got. Uh, when you got your Nintendo Entertainment System, a lot of times, uh, especially in the early run, it was packed with that game, so you actually got to play it. You know, I love it when you buy a system nowadays. Back in back in the old days, back when I was getting started with this, it actually came with games because they actually wanted you to, I don't know, enjoy it. Uh, Atari came with Combat, or later on Pac-Man, because they couldn't get rid of that one fast enough. Uh, but in Nintendo's case, they gave you uh, Super Mario Brothers, and then later on Super Mario Brothers Dunk Hunt, depending on uh, what ver actually what set you got. Because there was the basic set, there was a more advanced set, and of course there was the everything set. Um, I got the basic set. I, Duck Hunt, I played in the arcade as well. It was okay. I was never a really big fan of that. Or Zapper games in general. Uh, but I love Super Mario Brothers. But I didn't get that system for that. No, I got it for Donkey Kong of all things. Because I bought that with it. So, having said that, uh, this is uh, Donkey Kong 3. Now, Donkey Kong 3 is a bit different than uh, Donkey Kong. In fact, let me try that again because it completely went away. Hmm. Interesting. It disappeared on me. It knows it's the black sheep of the Donkey Kong trilogy. This is Stanley Mario. And he's up there battling Donkey Kong, who's up on two ropes, vines. And there are a bunch of uh, bees circling around them as well, because he's going to shake the bees nests, as you will see, as we go into the track. Oh, there's the various scoring things here. <laughs> you get to score question marks, of course. Up there by Donkey Kong, there is a bit of a bug zapper. It's a bonus zapper uh, for Stanley, and it's a more industrial strength zapper. It actually is more powerful and goes through some of these critters um, much quicker. It also makes Donkey Kong uh, go up the uh, vines faster. The object of the game is to get Donkey Kong to get to the top of that board, you know, where it says top 12,000. And what that is, is that uh, that will get you to the next round. Again, it's a little different. I think by this time this game came out, video games were kind of falling out of uh, grace, if you will. Uh, the video game crash is happening. And the video game crash literally started with, um, well, the game E.T. for the Atari 2600 where uh, they kind of miscalculated just a tad. And there's a big story about that. We'll probably talk about that in a future stream. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a um, it's a bit of a mess. And the timing for this is just couldn't get any worse. And um, a lot of good things came out in 1983, however. Uh, one of my favorite things that came out was the GCE Vectrex. And um, what that is, we'll talk about that too. That is a video game console that came with its own vector screen. Now, a screen similar to that of Asteroids or Tempest, except it was black and white. And you had overlays that go on top to give the screen color. And uh, good, good stuff, actually, with that. Okay, so let's take a look at Donkey Kong 3 as we go ahead and kill Groove. And let's go ahead and see the various scores. And I will warn you all, I am not that good at this game. But I include it in here because it's Donkey Kong, damn it. With Stanley <laughs> Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get him up there as fast as possible. Make him drop that. Ah, I knew I was going to do that. A bit more graphic than the NES version. As you see, Stanley is gone. They didn't do that in the NES version. Let's try that again. I'm going to try to save as many of those as I can. Now, 
that's going to carry on to the next round. Managed to save all five plants. Perfect bonus. Ah. You get bonus points now for having all five as well, and they bloom. Now they're worth 2,000 points again, and they're going to be worth more should I survive this next round. But I got the big zapper back. Hopefully I'll be able to use it. Oh. Bollocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. As I said, I'm not that good at this one. First one up game over. Oh, yes. Give me the sad music. Yes. Oh, really? You know what? Yeah. I was. A back, not put bad. One more try. One more try. Why not? And let's try this one more time. Of course, the jolly death music. You, uh, by the way, if you don't keep blasting him, he will. Whoa. He uh, eventually starts sliding back down, then he will keep rocking the beast nests so that more fun little lovely creatures come flying at you and kill you. I promise you that that's going to be the last time you see that, especially in this game. Alright. Eh, hey, I, could, I could actually top my score. Now watch out for those big bees there. Yeah, they will. See if I can salvage any of this. No. Probably so. No, you can have the stupid plan. No, I guess not. Well, I beat my score. That's not saying much. <laughs> That's not saying much at all. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Constellation music, if anything. Alright, put my real initials up there. Pack. Yes! Okay. Pack back when? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so, anyway, anyway, that's it. There's your three Donkey Kong games. Ah, like I said. It was, uh, it was, it was interesting. The third one, like I said, is kind of the black sheep of the three Donkey Kongs, if you will. Uh, did not feature Mario. Did not feature uh, Mario's brother, which we did, never really got to know, because uh, you do see two of them in Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, but this is Stanley. By this time, by the way, Mario Brothers uh, had already come out. Not Super Mario Brothers. That would come out a couple of years later. Mario Brothers came out. And you do get introduced to Luigi in that one, but that's for another day. Okay, well, uh, thanks for... I say I have one viewer. Hello there. How are you today? Um... We're going to go ahead and wrap it up, and um, I was going to throw it to How to Be Quiet, uh, but he had ended his stream, so we're going to go ahead and just pretty much sign off for tonight. Uh, we will be here tomorrow as well, about noonish, to do a little bit of a chat, uh, to talk about what was the most disappointing game you have ever purchased and or received. And I can think of a bunch of them off the top of my head, and there's pretty much one biggie. You probably know what it is, too, because I've been doing this for... Uh, let's say at least a few years in video game land. 
Uh, but the worst game you have ever purchased and or received. And there's a bunch of them. All, all systems have lousy games. That's just the rule. Handheld, whether it be Atari, Nintendo, Sega, Sony, PlayStation, Xbox, they all got them. Got, they, they have to have them. It's almost like a written rule. And of course, you know, the big rule, one of the big, big lousy rules was video games and movies don't mix. Well, that might play into what I consider to be my most disappointing game that I've ever played. We're going to talk about that tomorrow, starting around noon Eastern. In the meantime, this is Super Pack. If you like what you saw, uh, follow me if you don't mind. If you'd like to subscribe, I wouldn't mind that either. But anyways, I'll be hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, have a good night. Be good to each other. Stay safe. We'll see you later.